there are uh, new and emerging uh, risks uh, and crises uh, that are coming from um, the climate change effects, uh, urbanization, population growth, uh, as well as the food price uh, fluctuation. So these are some of the uh, drivers for increase the humanitarian crisis. And what can we do? I think that we can uh, manage risks better. So that also means that we can anticipate uh, risks uh, through better uh, analysis and monitoring. We can mitigate risks better as well, uh, which also means that uh, we can uh, uh, have a much better preparedness and early action. Uh, and at the same time, we can do uh, better prevention. We can also build the uh, capacities of the governments and they are becoming the key driver of response. Uh, and at the same time, we need to focus on building partnership with the private sector, who is uh, not necessarily familiar with the whole humanitarian system, but I think more and more and increasingly, they are becoming a key player. For instance, uh, their uh, role in uh, communication, their role in the provision of uh, network becomes critical and crucial in the early part of uh, uh, crisis so that both the actors and responders and the affected population can communicate effectively. The affected populations themselves are becoming responders, so they are, uh, they are partners in response. Uh, and they have very strong networks and they can communicate easily with the better use of technologies and uh, they identify needs, uh, so in some ways working with them in tem tandem is extremely important. There is an imbalance or skewed uh, uh, allocation, attention between the prevention and preparedness side with the response. Uh, we, some time back, we actually made this film uh, which talked about how one dollar investment in preparedness can save uh, seven dollars in response. And I think that we can do much better at the collection of quality data and information as well as the sharing of the data. We can also uh, improve the way in which we learn from the lessons. We do a lot of evaluations, but we are not always good at uh, implementing those recommendations and re-reviewing the actions that we have taken and how we can uh, continuously improve the system and also adapt ourselves in such a way that we stay relevant.